Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Lightroom Classic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the split toning panel tools to add color in the highlights and shadows of your photo. You can see on the left is the before, on the right is the after. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the entire image back to default. So on the right hand side, you should see the split toning section. And it's a pretty simple but powerful tool if you want to add some color and mood into your photos. So to break down how it works, you can adjust the highlights and the shadows of your image with two different colors. And you can choose that color in a few different ways. So by default, it's just nothing gray. But if I click on that little color box, it opens up this panel and I can choose a color for the highlights. And you can see since we're influencing the highlights, all of the highlights of this photo are getting influenced. So if I do it this brownish red color, everything gets a little bit more warm. If I do it this green just to just for example to show you across the whole color wheel you can get some pretty strong effects as you can see the higher up we go on the ink dropper the more saturated it gets the lower down the less saturated back to nothing again but you can also use these sliders so let's say I like kind of this reddish warm color I can actually just adjust the slider it's kind of like the strength of it and you can see I can influence it with the slider I can do the same thing with the hue I can just move the wheel across the entire color spectrum. You have the same options here. They're not anything different. You can adjust the hue and saturation with these sliders the same way I was doing. And now you can do the same thing for the shadows. I can choose a color for the shadows and maybe try to make them complementary colors. So if I'm, if I'm gonna do a sort of brownish highlight, maybe I'm gonna do a very faint or not too saturated teal color. So we got a nice little teal and brown combo coming in there. But also you don't have to adjust both. If you want, you can just adjust the shadows or just adjust the highlights just to add a little color into either. In the middle, you have the balance slider. So this will let you sway how strong you want it towards one or the other color. So if I pull it to the left, it pulls it towards the shadow color, a lot more blue. If I pull it to the, towards the right, it pulls us towards that brownish yellow color that I chose. And then you can adjust the contrast, exposure, everything that you might normally do in your workflow to get the desired color you want. So for this example, you can see before and after I've taken this from a pretty cold photo, kind of bluish cold looking, and I've really made it warm and glowy. Another cool trick you can do and another example of this is let's say we're working with a photo that was black and white or we made a photo black and white. So if I desaturate everything out of this image, you can now also use split toning to create some cool sepia tones or slightly colored monochromatic images. So for example, if I just add a little bit of color into the highlights here, I can take our standard black and white photo and maybe give it a little bit of tint to make the black and white a little bit more interesting or give it a sepia toned effect. So you can get creative with this. And lastly, if you're just adjusting the color in a more creative way, more of a color grading type of way, you can also use the split toning tool to impact the mood of the photo that you're looking for. So in this case, let's say I wanted to give it a lot more grungy and green feel, and uh, I can add to the shadows maybe some dark blues or dark greens and teals, and then adjust the strength and saturation of that to my liking. So with this tool, I'm able to quickly inject some color into the highlights and shadows and the tone of this image to give it an interesting look that might not have been there before. So there's a couple different examples and tips on using the split toning tool. It can be a really powerful but quick and easy to use tool to get some complementary colors going in your shadows and highlights. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube for more editing tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.